so I look at you too. I see two incredible humans. I see loving parents. I see a new sister, one and only. And everyone, I'd like you to raise your glass. And as David said it best, here's to love and happiness. More than anything, of all the traits I've listed about Lauren, is I could tell that she really made David happy. Today has been the most special day celebrating you guys. From the very beginning, I was telling Lauren, she's just been such a blessing as a sister and as a friend. And I know that now that you have your partner, you are going to have someone that takes you to places in life because David's as driven and as focused as you are. And I'm so excited to see where it takes the two of you. As I look at this beautiful woman in front of me, I just can't help reflect. She was uh, just absolutely wonderful little girl. And the moment I laid eyes on her, I, I was in love. She just makes us proud every day. But today, Lauren's joined hands with a wonderful man. I just love them both.
Heavenly Father, thank you for this joyous day. Thank you for the miracles and blessings. Please bless this marriage as Lauren and David continue their journey down the road of life together. Let all of their days together be happy and all of their words to each other be sweet. Though their paths are intertwined, let them be aware of each other's separateness. Bless their home and allow them to be a place of love and harmony where your spirit is always present. Remind them to nurture each other with their mutual love, honor, and respect. And as they learn from one another, may they grow stronger as individuals and closer as a couple. We gather today to take part in the most time-honored celebration, the uniting of a man and a woman in marriage. Lauren and David have come before us telling of their love for each other. Today you celebrate one of life's greatest moments and give recognition to the worth and beauty of love as you now join together in your vows of marriage. David, do you come here freely and without reservation? Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> Please repeat after me. Sure. I, David, take you, Lauren. I, David, take you, Lauren. To be my wife. To be my wife. For better or for worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I humbly give you. I humbly give you. My hand and my heart. My hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth. As a sanctuary of warmth. Peace and protection. Peace and protection. And pledge my faith. And pledge my faith. And love to you. And love to you. Lauren, do you come here freely and without reservation? You want to check with the girls? <laughs> <laughs> Please repeat after me. I, Lauren, take you, David. I, Lauren, take you, David. To be my husband. To be my husband. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I humbly give you. I humbly give you. My hand and my heart. My hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. And pledge my faith. And pledge my faith. And love to you. And love to you. Place the three on Lord's finger and repeat after me. Just as this circle is without end. Just like this, just as the circle is without end. My love for you is eternal. My love for you is eternal. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. To symbolize my love for you. To symbolize my love for you. Continuous and never ending. Continuous and never ending. Get David's ring please. Just as this circle is without end, Just as this circle is without end. my love for you is eternal. I give you this ring to symbolize my love for you. To symbolize my love for you. Continuous and never ending. Continuous and never ending. This time I would like to invite Blake to come forward. A wedding is often viewed as a union of two people. In reality, however, it is much broader. As we give thanks to God for the love that brings Lauren and David together. So too, recognize the importance of families and the additional love and responsibility that family and friends bring to this relationship. We celebrate more than just marriage. We celebrate you and the strong bond that is your family. Lauren and David, you have just made a lifelong commitment to share the rest of your lives with each other. Yet the journey is not yours alone. You have been blessed with a beautiful child, Blake. And it is the strength of your love that shall nourish you all, all together as a family. Lauren and David have chosen the cactus to plant at their home. The cactus is a symbol of their love and marriage. Cacti are known for their resilience and marriage too must be resilient. The cactus appears to be independent and stand alone. But in reality, it needs nurturing the same as all living things. 
Its roots run just below the surface of the desert, so it can harvest water from the smallest amounts of rainfall. So it is with love in a good marriage. Don't let the roots of your love be buried so deep that you must dig to nurture it. May your life be blessed, and may your love always be with you and grow throughout your lives together. Lauren and David, in so much of the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, have promised your love for each other by these vows, the joining of your hands, the giving of these rings, and now declare you to be husband and wife. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. David Quilpin. Streetlights guide me They show me the way Oh, oh, oh Take my hand I'll lead you home Escape our fate And walk alone Turn down the lights tonight Congratulations. I love you both. And I wish you 
forever happiness. Forces.